So hi guys, welcome back. And today we're going to look about how we can use Google Sheets API with our Python code. So let's get straight into it. So first of all, head up to your Google Cloud console and then search up for Sheet API. You need to enable this API. So uh, if it, this is not enabled in your console, uh, this would show the enable API button instead. All right, so after enabling it, you can download your credential files for your Google account, which is available in IAM admin. And you can head up to service accounts. You can select a user and then you can go into the keys. Then if you do not have current keys, unlike me, you can create a key by uh, pressing the create new button and that will download a JSON key for you. All right. So we have now set up the Google Cloud for accessing the Google Sheets API. Now we can uh, head to the Google Sheet. We have to need a sheet to work with Google Sheet API. So for example, I have a sample sheet here. Now we uh, need the sheet ID for this Google Sheet, which is uh, embedded in the URL after the slash D, which is this string. So you can save it for future reference. All right, so now we can actually start the coding process. So first of all, we have to download the requirements, which are sim uh, this has just, uh, this has three requirements. So we can download them one by one. First of all, we have to upgrade our uh, Google API Python client. We can do that by pip install upgrade Google API Python client. And then we can also upgrade the Google or HTTP lib 2. And then we also need to upgrade the Google or OAuth lib. All right, just run this command and your libraries should be uh, upgraded. All right, done. So now we can move on to the further process. We can actually start the coding process now. All right, so first of all, uh, we can just import OS for referencing our credential file. Now we can import the Google API, uh, the Google OAuth credential service with from Google dot what two dot service account you can import the credentials file from that all right the credentials module from that apart from that we can import the build module for discovery package for basically creating a client for uh google sheet api so that can be created with the help of from Google API client or discovery, and we have to import the build package from that. All right, so we've imported the necessary requirements. Now we can define the scope, which is, is uh, as you can see in the recommender, that it is uh, googleapi.com slash auth slash spreadsheets dot read only. This is a scope which only allows the permission to read the spreadsheets but for this case for the demonstration purposes i will allow everything so that will be by removing the dot read only and this just means that we can uh, do any kind of operation with the spreadsheet available all right now we can save the service account file which we had created in the google console we can save the path for that the file is currently located in the current directory itself. So I'm just going to name it that, that is GCP key.json. All right. Now we can create the credentials by using the credentials module we had imported earlier. That will be credentials dot from service count file. And then we can pass in the service count file as the first parameter and the scope as the second parameter. All right, and now we can finally create the client or through which we can run the API commands that will we can just name it like service equals to 
build now we can build a client for sheets we can write the version of that which is v4 and then we can pass the credentials which is the credential object we created above all right we have created the client right now and we can actually start using client to uh, access our google sheet api functions before that i need to uh, declare the sheet which is service uh, which is service dot spreadsheet all right so now the sheet is a basically a spreadsheet object which is used to handle all the operations we're going to perform for different functions so let's just begin all right so and uh just for reference i'll just put the sheet id below so we can see it more clearly now we have the sheet id prepared here one more thing is that uh the sheet which we are creating does not need necessarily be to be on the account on which the google cloud platform exists it can be any any account uh, you want to basically create the sheet on or from all right so now we can execute some commands all right we will first execute the get command which is used for reading the sheet values before that we can also define the range through which we are going to uh, read the sheets value for this i'm just going to go for go with uh supposedly columns from a1 to a5 which will read all the cells in the first row in the first column uh on the first five rows all right so we can actually now perform the read operation which is equals to sheet read equals to sheet dot values dot get then we can pass the parameter parameters as the sheet id which is the sheet id we have prepared before and the range and then we can uh, embed the dot execute to execute the function all right so now to extract the values we can do the values equals to sheet read dot get values as a list format that's just simple python syntax and now we can simply uh print the sheet values for row in values you can print row all right so i think this should work right now all right so now as you can see uh, the error states that the uh, Google Sheet does not actually have the permission to edit or read the uh, sheet which we have created here. That's because this sheet is currently private and we need to share it with our Google Console account. And now, how do we share it? We just go to the Google service account store. Basically, we have to take the email ID of which we have created the key before. So, in this case, this is the email ID. I'll just copy it and I can share it. I can paste it here and yeah so that's remove this or and we can just share it to them all right so now i think that it should be gone and the sheet must have permissions to share all right all right so you can see uh nothing got printed actually that's because the sheet is currently empty and now we can actually fill in some details about this a b c all right now supposedly the code should give the output as a b c d e because we are only in first five rows of the sheet yeah as you can see it, it's it give the output as a b c d e first list represents the values in the first row and so on all right so we have learned how to perform the read function on Google Sheets. Now we can also uh, see about how we can actually update the sheet values. For that, we need to use the update function. First of all, I'll just define some values which we need to insert in that. Supposedly, hello world in the first row. Then we can define another hello two world to 
we can put this in the second loop. All right. Now we need to make a uh, now we need to make a dictionary, uh, which has the key as values and its value is the values we have created above. So that will be body equals to a dictionary, which has the values as the values you created above. All right now we can actually uh, perform the write operation, which is basically the update operation, which is just simply the c dot values dot update function. For this, we have the spreadsheet ID set as sheet ID, and the range is a one. Range represents from where we need to begin updating the sheet. If it is a two by two matrix type value, then it will update the sheet sheet's value from a one, a two, b one, and b two. I can just simply write here b two if I want to. If I do not. That also means the same thing. All right. We set the value input option as raw because we actually want to uh, paste the values as raw values instead of any operation or something else. And then we can finally pass the body as the body parameter and then just execute the statement. So this should update the values. And if I again the values using this function in this uh, code this should give me the updated values now let's see all right so you can see here that the first and second rows are now hello and hello too we can also verify it through the sheet that we have a uh, hello world and hello to world too as a new values in the sheet that's how we actually update the sheet values all right so now for the further code we can see about how we can actually delete the mm, values in the sheet so how we can delete the values in the sheet is basically by using the clear function so we can perform the sheet delete function sheet delete not basically delete but it is kind of a clear function sheet clear function we can for this we need to Use the clear function of sheet dot values, and then we need to execute that. Uh, for the range, we can specify the area through which we have to clear the sheet. I have defined here a1 to b2. That means we are, uh, it is going to clear the two by two matrix from a1 to the b2 cell. All right. After that, if we read the sheet using the sheet read method, it should actually give us empty lists so let's see all right all right yeah so as you can see we have two empty lists for the first and second columns for the first and second rows which represent that we have cleared the sheet at the end and also if we see here we can see that we have cleared the sheet here so yeah so yeah that's how you basically uh, handle sheet operation using google sheets api with the Python code, we can actually read, write, and also delete the cells using our Python and Google Sheets API. So yeah, guys, that's that's it for the video. Thanks for watching.